Well, usually business leader and author Art Coombs joins us for our Motivation Mondays. Today will be his longtime friend and colleague, Kurt Weisler. Kirk is also a speaker and a best-selling author joining us via Zoom from Phoenix, Arizona this morning. And Kirk, let's start with this. What is the biggest barrier that stops us from making a change in our lives? Oh my gosh. Nisha, you know, there's so many things that stop us, but I think, I think one of the most natural ones is the, the excuses we make not to change. And those excuses can just be devastating because they stop us before we ever get started. Okay, so list a couple of those excuses, Kirk, and maybe we'll recognize some of the, some of the ones that we've done ourselves. Listen, if we're really gonna go to a solution here, let's do more than that. Let's take your, all your listeners. I want, I want to ask them and you and myself as I, as I list the, the foundational excuses, listen for one, of your, one or two of your top two, and then we'll see if we can put together an action plan. So here they are. These are from Art Coombs' wonderful book, Hard Easy, where he has this whole chapter on excuses don't change results. So here they are, 11. We're gonna count down like David Letterman. I wanna change, but I can't. I, I, number two, I'm only human. Number three is the nature versus nurture argument. You know, It's just the way that I am. Um, number four, I don't have the time or the money to change. Number five, I'm not ready to change. Number six, I, I, I just don't know how to change. Number seven, what if I try to change, but I fail? Kind of that why try. Number eight, it's not gonna work because nothing ever works for me. Again, coming back to that why try, so we don't need to make the effort. Um, I don't wanna change, and it's, I don't really need to change anyway. If other people would change, I wouldn't have to change, right? It's all about other people, not about me, all right? Number 10, I'm too old or I'm too young to change. And number 11, um, change is important. I know I need to, and I'll start that tomorrow. <laughs> there they are, those the, the Kurt, 11. What, is, what yeah. do you hear most often? Like, what did you relate with? I would say, what if I fail is probably the biggest one I relate with. Yeah, I, 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 I love that. I'm really close on that, but I'm just right above it, number six. I'm like, I'm not really sure. I know I need to change this, but I'm not sure how to go about that in this relationship with my wife or this relationship with my teenagers. I'm, I'm not really sure. And because I'm a guy and I don't want to fail, then I go to number seven. I don't want to fail because I don't really know how, right? So what can our viewers do? What if they are stuck in one of, or a, a, a couple of those excuses? I love that. I love that. So, so if, if they can, if they can, and the, some of them are probably driving, but write this down. People make excuses or they make a difference, right? People make excuses or they make a difference. I choose to make a difference. The first thing is, listen to those 11, own, own yours like a beast. Like you, you so, you were so vulnerable, you said, I'm, I'm number seven, what if I fail? You know that's a stop for you. I know that not knowing enough is a stop for me, right? So I gotta know, I've gotta own my excuse. You know, this is the one that I make the most often. Put it right out there in front and then adopt a new mantra that says, People make excuses or they make a difference. I choose to make a difference. Now, next step, take your favorite excuse, own it like a beast, meaning in the spirit of total vulnerability, apologize to the people who've heard that excuse from you the most. A real apology, a real apology means that you intend to never do it again. So invite them to tell you the minute they hear you start to make that excuse again. Say, I, I love you, I need you to tell me the first time you hear me making the excuse again, call me out, call me out on my stuff own it like a beast. Promise them that if they will do this, you won't be mad or angry. Instead, you'll buy them lunch. You'll give them a hug and a kiss because their act of loving accountability, and accountability is an act of love, right? And while you and I might not love being held accountable in the moment, we will love the feeling that we get when we start to make a change instead of an excuse. And once we start making that change, boy, that's gonna make a difference. Our confidence is gonna increase and they're gonna be ready to make another one. It's Motivation Mondays, everybody. Kirk Weisler joining us from Phoenix, Arizona. You gotta own those. For more information, go to our website. We'll link you uh, to what you need, abc4.com slash midday. Thank you, Kirk. Thank you, Nisha and listeners.